Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's question is which of the following is not true about chromosome structure? Take a look at this picture and let's check our answers. A telomer is always on the end of the eukaryotic chromosome. This is true. Telomeres we can find at the tips of the chromosomes and telomeres protect chromosome from the degradation. And let's check the second variant, answer B. A centromere is always in the middle of the eukaryotic chromosome. And as you see, according to this picture, it is not true. Centromere can be with a telecentric when only one arm would be visible and no any short arm here. But for example, on acrocentric, we see long arm and short arm present. And centromere here is not in the center. So it's called centromere, meaning center, but it's not always so. And submetacentric, when it is very close to the center, and still we have here short arm and long arm. And metacentric, when two arms would be of the same size, and centromere would be in the center. So this is going to be not correct statement, and this is going to be our choice, because we are looking for which is not true. But let's check other answers as well. A chromatid is a chromosome that has been replicated, but has not yet separated from its sister chromatid. Yes, this is what we call chromatid, when chromosome replicated, but two sister chromatids would be connected in the centromere. So we call it chromatid. And variant D, the kinetochore is a site of attachment of the centromere to the nucleus bundle apparatus. Yes, at this point of the centromere, spandle apparatus would attach in order to separate these two sister chromatids and everyone would end at the different cell. Was it during mitosis or during meiosis when two sister chromatids would be separated and would end up in the different cells? And the last statement, heterochromatin are primarily associated with the centromere and telomere regions. And this is also true. We have euchromatin and heterochromatin. And heterochromatin usually we can find in these areas, which is close to centromere and also close to the tips of the chromosomes, because chromosomes would be degraded from the tips and would be protected by telomere, but also at these uh, sites, chromosomes usually don't have actively expressing genes. Usually at such places, we can find non-coding DNA. As you see, all statements are correct, except statement B. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.